Aisha is a qualified teacher, but she says she hasn't been allowed to work in a state school because she wears a headscarf. For decades, rules have banned women wearing the Islamic headscarf while working in government buildings in majority Muslim but secularist Turkey. The ban was implemented by the old secularist establishment who feared the rise of political Islam in the country. I tried my chances in the private sector since I couldn't work as an English language teacher in state schools with my headscarf. The headscarf ban, which was lifted this week, has kept many women from working as civil servants in Turkey. But secularist critics of Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan see the repeal of the ban as yet another move by Turkey's government to impose an Islamist agenda, along with the restrictions on sale and advertisement of alcohol and the introduction of more Quranic teaching. They also accuse the government of undoing the secularist principles of the republic. Mr. Erdogan denies that this is the case. The republic is the republic of 76 million Turkish citizens. Those who wear headscarves are as much the owner of this republic as those who do not wear headscarves. Ayşe thinks overturning the ban could give her a new chance of having a career in public service. If this situation is changed and women with headscarves can work in state schools, then I can imagine applying back to the public sector. There hasn't so far been any strong mass opposition to the lifting of the ban in Turkey. However, there's growing concern in some quarters that Turkish society is becoming more conservative. Güney Yıldız, BBC News.